Hey, what's up everybody? This is John Mays. Hey, like many of us, we had some storm damage uh, last February uh, in our bathroom. We had a water leak and the thing flooded uh, and it's taken us this long to get around to getting it fixed. Uh, so the contractor just finished the bathroom and we're really happy with the result. But a couple of things that I would like to point out that could help you if you're deciding to remodel your home at some point is number one, always, always, always check the references on your contractor. Talk to somebody that they've done work with, maybe more than one person, uh, and make sure that the quality of work that they do is good and that the people that they've done work with in the past have been happy with their work. Um, I can't tell you how many people I know that have had issues with contractors not showing up or starting a job and then leaving and uh, you know, nightmare scenarios, right? So always vet your contractors. The second thing is it always takes a little bit longer than what you think it's gonna take. So when we first started this, we thought it was gonna be maybe, you know, two weeks, three weeks at the most. And we're right here on week number six. So it took a little longer than expected, but it was definitely worth the wait. Um, a few other things that we encountered along the way that were good learning experiences is some things cost a little bit more than you think they do. Uh, for example, the, the quartz countertops, uh, a little bit of a sticker shock on there, but uh, you know, you gotta have counters. Uh, the cabinetry, actually, I thought it was gonna cost a lot of money to have cabinetry built custom. Um, it ended up costing me a little bit less than if I had just gone down to the home improvement store and bought a pre-made vanity. So that was a good learning lesson. And uh, the last one really was on my shower glass. Uh, I didn't think it would make a difference uh, to do a, a custom shower door, but it is absolutely worth it. Um, and so just a little bit of an expense, but you have a nice thick piece of glass. It'll open and close. It's nice and smooth. It looks good. Um, and I can't imagine <laughs> what this bathroom would have looked like if I would have put in the shower door that I was originally going to do because it was very budget friendly. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you're deciding to do a renovation for your house, uh, give me a holler because I can run some comparables for you. I can look at and see what other homes in your neighborhood have sold for and kind of give you a good idea about uh, how much you should spend on a renovation and where you should put your money to get the most equity back out of your home. Anyway, this has been John Mace. Hope y'all are doing well.